Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at Google Docs and the new approvals feature. Now I am in my Google document and let's say that this is a report and I need to have it approved. Now the first thing that's important to note is that this is a feature part of Google Workspace Plus. So if you haven't got that upgrade, in the description you will find more information about how you can get the Google Workspace Plus upgrade. But once you have that upgrade, you will get access to approvals. The next step is to click on file. Now when you click on file, you will see that you have an additional feature there called approvals. So we click on this icon right here, approvals, and this opens up a sidebar. Now that's where you set up your file approval. So in this scenario, I am going to make a request for a line manager to approve this file and then send it back to me. So we're going to click on make a request. Now the request can be sent to people outside of your Workspace Plus domain. So if you have access to the Google Workspace Plus upgrade, then you can ask for approval from line managers or other people not part of your upgraded domain. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to add one of my demo accounts and I'm also going to leave that account a message. Okay, now there is a number of additional things we can activate here. We can give it a due date. So let's do that. I'm going to set a due date for Saturday. So by Saturday, I need to have this file approved. Let's select 5 p.m. Okay, and click on okay. I can also choose to allow these approvers to edit the file or not. And I can lock the file before sending the request. In other words, once I've requested approval, the file is locked down, can no longer be edited. I am going to turn this on, but I am not going to turn on the tick box here, so I'm not going to allow the approvers to edit the file. Then I click on send request. As you can see here, you are going to have to share that file with the person you're requesting approval from. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on send. Everything is being sent and that person will get that approval request. In addition to that, you can also see the process on the right hand side. So here I can now see that the file is locked, locked from editing. I'm going to reload it because otherwise I can't view this file. At the top, we have that icon that says locked. This is locked. I can manually unlock it. However, when I click on details, I will see all the details about that file approval. Here we can see that the approval is pending. The deadline is set to Saturday, the 4th of December at five o'clock in the evening. And I can see the changes since the approval started, since I've last viewed it or since I last approved it. Now, because the file is locked down for editing, I don't see any changes here. I can also add multiple approvers. So if you need multiple people, maybe multiple line managers, middle management, senior leadership team, they can all be added here. And I can leave a comment for my approvers to see. Let's have a look at the other side of this story and let's see what the approver sees. So I'm going to open up my demo account. Once they are in that file, they can read through the file and at the top of that file, they can approve, reject or view details. So let's go ahead and approve this file. That file has been approved. I can leave an optional message or a request. Go ahead and share and then click on approve. Back to the original account, you will see that this has now changed. At the top, it says this is the last approved version. Editors can unlock to make edits, comments and suggestions. I can see that the approval has been completed. I can see who has approved it. And this file has been approved by the person I asked approval from. So it is ready to be sent out. Again, this is a feature of Google Workspace Plus. Now I will leave more information in that description below. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.